Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Um, obviously, I'm here just to, on behalf of all the players and ex-players to let you know Fernando was such a, a great inspiration to us all. I met him in 2004 when I first signed with Rangers. And, you know, most of the time before I met him, he was always in the papers for the wrong things. Um, we had a lot of discussions um, in that time in 2004, as we, we heard earlier, he was given the, the captaincy, you know, to captain the team in 2004 to 2005 season. And he used to speak to me and, you know, he used to go through a lot of difficult times. Um, he used to, you know, said to me, Marv, you know, he used to feel angry and he used to feel, you know, frustrated a lot. And I used to sit down with him and explain to him because, you know, most people know it is not hidden. I'm a man of God, I believe in God, and you know, I used to try to express my faith and my belief in God to him, to try to encourage him to live his best life. And in that 2004, 2005, it's shown on the pitch, his maturity, his leadership, the way he carried about it himself. He, it was a time that he stayed out of trouble as best as he can. And you know, he was such an inspiration to so many people. I'm sure you know, people who are in here and people who are outside, he's a hero to so many people. Um, a legend, you can go on and on with so many great things to say about Fernando Rickson. And one thing I realized with my time in the two years that I stayed with him at Rangers Football Club, I realized that Fernando was a person that any time you tell him he cannot do something, he will show you he can. And I remember a time we were, I think we was going to the training ground or heading to the, the, um, the hotel before game and he had his red Ferrari. And one of the boys told him, Fernando, you're not gonna pass me before we get to the hotel. Now we're not talking motorway between here and the hotel, we're talking single lane traffic. And he passed me, I was happy with that, and I was watching him and he was trying to weave in and out, in and out before he can get past the, you know, the player who told him he wouldn't be able to pass him. And I'm telling you, it was very, very close that he didn't get in a bad accident that day. But eventually, he passed with his Ferrari, his red Ferrari, nobody can miss it. He just weaved in and out like, like anything, nothing that I've ever seen. I, you know, you normally see that in, in F1, you know, in F1 um, races. But he, he was that type of guy. And it showed you that, you know, when he was diagnosed with his illness, that what the doctor said to him, what the specialist said to him, he had that fighting spirit to say, I will show you all. And this is something that everybody here, you should take from. Everybody here today, we are here to show our respects for Fernando, of what a great man he is, what he's done for Rangers Football Club, what he's done in his footballing career, in his personal life, in his family life. And, you know, we should all take inspiration from that in whatever we are facing and going through in our lives. If you read, you know, the brochure that you have, it says the fighting spirit. Never to give up. Doesn't matter what obstacle you face, keep fighting and keep moving on. And that same spirit obviously it spurred us on as well. As we all know, we, would, we just heard it on Helicopter Sunday. And he was the captain, the leader of the ship in that, in that season for us. And it is still goes down as one of the greatest days, not only in Rangers football club history, but in Scottish football of never say die and never give up. And, you know, it was such a pleasure, and I'm sure every player here, people who have met him through friendship, through, you know, different means as a fan, you all have a story about Fernando Rickson. Even coming on in the bus this morning, most of the players were telling their stories of what Fernando was. Some of them we can't say on air. <laughs> we need to keep between the players. But he was that type of character, that he gave it all. He didn't let anything hold him back. And that is what, you know, made Fernando the person he is. As we all know, he wasn't a big religious person, but I had great chats with him about God and different things. And he, he used to always ask me questions every day that I come in into Maury Park in training. And he was that type of person. And, you know, it was great to see him on that day when he lifted, you know, the championship in 2005, also went on to win the player of the year. And I was so proud of him because before that season, there was just so much negativity 
around Fernando Rickson. And I think that was the season that turned his, his entire life around, his, his, his mentality and the way that he looked at life, it changed everything. What I also want us to know is that in his time of, you know, the six years that he was battling this illness, he kept fighting, he kept going on. But at the same time, in his death, everybody who is gathered here today in this, you know, in church and people who are outside on the streets to, you know, to share their last wishes and their last respects is to let you know that Fernando shows us no matter what team you support, no matter where you come from, your background, what job you have, how much money you have in the bank account, you are a human being first and foremost. It doesn't matter what team you support, no matter what we come from, you are a human being first and foremost. And this shows me in this, all of this that we are gathering here today, it shows us that we are human beings. It doesn't matter who you support, it doesn't matter where you grew up, and that is what life is about. Let's treat one another as human beings first. It doesn't matter who you are, no matter what, what background you came from, no matter what team you support, because as we all sit here, one day, each one of us will be like this. No matter where you come from, no matter how good your life is, no matter how rich you are, one day, we will all be like this. So what is the point? We fight and we fuss and we quarrel for no reason. Let's love one another because this is... And this, this is the meaning of life. Because after everything, we all need to go back to the maker, the Most High God. So, you know, let's take courage from what Fernando been through. He has taught us a lot in, this, in the 43 years that he has given us on this earth. As I say, he brings us happiness, joy. And, you know, the good thing about Fernando, whether people were, shoot, were shouting for him or against him, even opponents, they loved him of who he are. They might not have liked him at the time that they played against him, but because of the human being he was, he was real and he used to give 100%. Before I close, as I said, Fernando family is here. I have learned in my time and in reading the Bible that it's only God can mend the broken heart. Today, his family is sitting here. Their hearts are broken. I also have learned nobody wants to say goodbye to somebody they love. Nobody wants to do it. And this family has to do it today. They have to say goodbye to a friend, a husband, you know, a father, and also a hero, and also a legend to so many people. So I want us to take a couple of minutes with me. I want us to pray for Fernando family. Let's ask God to strengthen them in their journey his little daughter is not here with us present. She may not know the full e effect of this today until she probably reach her teenage years. And this is where we need to ask God to help her and guide her to carry on her life without her dad, who she preciously loved, as we see you know, in the videos and the, obviously the, um, the documentary last night of who saw it. And this is so, so important because this family need to carry on with their life despite the loss of a great loved one that was once part of their lives. So I want us to take a few minutes, bow your head, close your eyes as we pray for Fernando's family, Veronica and his, his mom. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before your presence this evening, Lord, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, Father, for this opportunity that you have blessed us with here today. Lord, I bring forth Veronica and all of Fernando Rickson's family, his daughter, Father, his mother, and all of his relatives, Lord. I ask you to bless them in this time as they mourn for their loved one, Fernando Rickson. Lord, I come against the spirit of grief and sorrow in your heart. Strengthen them in this time, my Lord. Draw them together that they draw closer as a family in love and in unity. Help them, Lord, that they may draw closer unto you and they may know who you really are. Bless Fernando family, Lord Father, and strengthen them in this time. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.